My name is Keisha Sampson and I'm studying a Certificate 4 in Frontline Management here at TAFE New England Tamworth campus. I think it's, it's great to get the opportunity to develop skills and to learn more and to, to better further myself and to get the experience and the, the skills necessary behind me to go ahead and to further myself in the career, the career path that I like to be in. I think it's great to help other people, I really do. Um, I've had a lot of people that have helped me along the way. So it's my way of giving back to everybody and my sort of way of saying thank you and, and helping the next generation get along and to hopefully not have to struggle as much as what a lot of us have. Straight after school, I left school. I didn't complete year 12, I left school in year 11. So after that, I sort of didn't do a lot for the first couple of years. I was pretty young and pretty naive and, and didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. And so I had a lot of people that sort of said to me, look, here's, this is life. This is what life is about. You need to sort of step up and say, look, this is what I want to do. This is who I want to be. What do I want to do? Um, so without those people sort of pointing me in the right direction, I wouldn't be here today. That advice was probably the best thing that ever really happened to me. It took me a while to sort of let it sink in and realise exactly what people were trying to say to me. And it took me a while to have to think about it on my own and learn on my own. Um, and in doing that, that's given me direction. And We saw the need for, you know, I suppose, supporting um, our community in terms of the Aboriginal women into leadership roles um, because they, in their current organisations they often just sit there, um, just sit there and, and um, not exert themselves to take up leadership roles even though they may have the skills and knowledge to do that if they've been in the organisation for some time um, they just haven't had the confidence to be able to um, advance themselves for those positions. I think when you're younger you, you generally think everything's going to work out, that everything's just going to be fine um, and I sort of thought that. I didn't really plan to do anything or to even go back and study. So when I came back and studied I was quite, it was very daunting. It was really daunting at first. I thought oh gosh here we go, going to study again and it's going to be hard to get back into it because I hadn't studied in quite a while. But once I actually got in and started doing the work and started learning, it was exciting. The main thing that sort of got me in, back into education was a traineeship that I did, which was um, studying a certificate two in local government. So that definitely helped me and sort of that's what led on to going into Cert 4 in frontline management. So because of the traineeship, I sort of thought, well, this is what I do and this is what I do good and this is what I'd like to, to further myself in doing. The, the actual qualification is uh, certificate four in frontline management and what we've done is made it relevant because the group we had were all Indigenous women. So what we did was made it as relevant as we could. Um, my role really was to, to empower them on how to, to lead, basically. Within the, the Certificate 2 in local government, a lot of it was about um, procedures, protocols, legislations, all that kind of information. But we also did have certain subjects that came back down to Aboriginal studies as well because it was an Aboriginal-based traineeship. So just learning more about your heritage and all that kind of information and then that sort of is where I gathered a lot of the information and thought that's where I'd like to give back to the Indigenous community as well. And that particular group that Keisha was with were an amazing group of women who started out very nervous and very apprehensive about their study but through the friendships they gained with each other and the trust that they got they've achieved amazing things and I'm very proud of each and every one of them. I am a campus support officer here at the Tama TAFE. So my roles and duties are administration based roles. Um, so not just looking after the teaching section but also looking after the students themselves. I think it's one of the areas um, that I thrive the most, I, I enjoy the most, is actually dealing with people on a daily basis. So sitting them down and actually speaking to them and listening to them and learning from them as well. Um, I guess there are a lot of people that are in positions where they, they take a lot of that for granted, where they actually don't listen to the people and they don't actually encourage them and support them and so that's something that I definitely aim to do is actually sit down and to listen to the person and to find out exactly what they want to do. If they don't have any idea of what they want to do, give them direction, give them guidance, help them along the way. I have five sisters, so one older, four younger, two nieces, two nephews. So for me, a lot of what I do is trying to be a role model to my younger sisters. So I've got three younger sisters that are still in high school at the moment. So for me, it's a big impact on them and having them finish school and stay in school because I actually didn't. Mm. So I want them to see what education can actually do for them. And obviously that way they won't need to struggle with not knowing what they want to do or who they want to be. Mm. So I definitely see myself hopefully in five years working within a frontline management position, if not a case managing position in, 
and working my way up, obviously, into the managing position. Um, so that's just, yeah, the five-year plan, hopefully. I'd definitely tell them to come and see the guys down here at the Aboriginal Learning Circle just because they're very passionate and they're, they're very supportive people. They're always encouraging and they're definitely somebody that wants to be here to definitely help others.